we're going to dive into the most mind-bending and jaw-dropping news from Meta, OpenAI, X and NVIDIA recently. Let's start with this. Meta releases AI language translation model Seamless M4T. Meta says, Seamless M4T model could support translations between text and speech in nearly 100 languages and speech-to-speech -speech translation for 35 languages, combining technology that was previously available only in separate models. If you thought Whisper V2 was the pinnacle of translation quality, Seamless M4T is here to raise the bar. It outperforms Whisper V2 significantly. You can download Seamless M4T on GitHub now. Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg envisions this model will unlock interactions between users from around the globe in the metaverse. It's clear he's betting big on this digital frontier. The Seamless M4T isn't just another AI model, it's a revolution in communication. Picture this, real-time translations bridging countless cultural and linguistic gaps. It's not just about understanding each other, it's about bringing the world closer together. Also imagine this, a world where the language isn't a barrier to learning. Students worldwide diving into lectures, seminars and courses, all in their mother tongue. It's the dawn of a new era where knowledge knows no bounds. The open source community has released Dr. GPT. Dr. GPT is a new large language model specifically trained and designed to answer medical questions and can pass the US medical licensing exam. It is based on Meta's Llama 27B model. It can run on desktop and mobile phone. It can work completely offline to ensure user privacy. You can download it from GitHub and install it locally, but the installation might be quite challenging, so you may want to wait for the apps that could be launching soon. Imagine having your person doctor at your fingertips and able to ask any personal health questions at any time. This innovation will likely increase the quality of medical treatment and reduce cost. If you don't want to use Dr. GPT, you can use GPT-4. Microsoft says GPT-4 is good enough for medical tasks. Microsoft cites the faster development of cancer drugs where many clinical trials would have to be abandoned due to insufficient recruitment. Billions of dollars would be wasted in lengthy processes. However, GPT-4 could significantly accelerate such processes by efficiently abstracting patient information from large clinical texts. Although GPT-4 was trained only on generic internet data and not on specific medical data, it outperforms current systems such as Criteria 2 query, even though they were developed specifically for this task. They also believe GPT-4 could achieve expert-level performance on medical question-answer datasets. Next, OpenAI has acquired the team at Global Illumination. Global Illumination is a cutting-edge digital product company based in New York. I think OpenAI acquired Global Illumination because of their technologies on biomes. Biomes is an open-source Minecraft-like game. Now you might be wondering, why would OpenAI want to dive into the gaming world? Are they planning to create the next-gen Minecraft? Or is there something even bigger at play here? Well, gaming is a very lucrative moneymaker. They could use it to fuel their money-burning GPT model. But OpenAI might have something even more astounding up their sleeves. Picture this. Using the technologies from Global Illumination to train multi-agent systems, just like the hide-and-seek game featured in this video, Agents are trained to play hide-and-seek with simple chasing and fleeing. They evolve to use tools, build shelters, and collaborate. The hiders learn to create shelters and lock blocks, while the seekers learn to overcome obstacles. Imagine those scenarios becoming 1,000 times more complex. OpenAI could potentially use this virtual playground to train their AGI, creating a new frontier in artificial intelligence. If you like this video so far, please remember hit the like button and subscribe. Next, let's talk about X or Twitter. Before Elon Musk turned his attention to his honey, he posted intriguing message. Pretty fun blocking people who complain that blocking is going a ways. How does the medicine taste? Yes, X will strip ability to block accounts. The block function on X allows a user to restrict specific accounts from contacting them, seeing their posts or following them. Block is going to be deleted as a feature. If you like this change, please input a plus sign or a minus sign if you don't in the comment below. Imagine a world where your morning coffee is brewed to perfection, your home is spotless and your favorite meal is cooked to gourmet standards, all without lifting a finger. 
RoboAgent, a collaboration between Meta AI and Carnegie Mellon University, can now perform many of these tasks. The dream of having a robotic helper is getting closer to reality. Coming next is an incredible video generating tool from HeyGen. What you're seeing on your screen isn't a real person. Believe it or not, the person didn't record this content. They didn't record the voiceover. This is all 100% AI generated. And it's so astounding that make me wonder what on earth is going on here. This isn't just a virtual character. It's an AI avatar that allows you to clone yourself and create videos saying whatever you want. This is crazy news for content creators, YouTubers, and movie producers. Okay, let's take a closer look at this video. Early days of computer programming. A significant historical anecdote is known as Grace Hopper and the Bug. In 1947, at Harvard University, Rear Admiral Grace Hopper was working on the Mark II computer. One day, the system stopped working, and technicians discovered a moth trapped between the contacts of a relay, causing the malfunction. This is pretty real and insane, which will create many, many fake news. I think regulations will be imposed on this kind of content in the future. Next, NVIDIA unveil more powerful AI chip coming next year, the new GH200. The new GH200 has four petaflops of transformer engine processing capability and five terabytes per second of HBM3E performance. It is based on the architecture Grace Hopper. The CPU now has 144 cores. The GPU has 10 terabytes per second of frame buffer bandwidth. It has three times more memory capacity than the popular H100 GPU. You could take just about any large language model you like and put it into this and it will inference like crazy. The inference cost of large language models will drop significantly. You can scale this up into a much, much larger GPU. This is the actual size, the world's largest single GPU. One exaflops, four petaflops per grasshopper, 256 connected by MVLink into one giant system. And so, this is a modern GPU. Future frontier models such as OpenAI's GPT-5 and Google's Gemini will be built this way. It would cost $8 million and 260 kilowatts to run. This is 20 times less power and 12 times less cost than general purpose computing. NVIDIA also announced the most power workstation GPU RTX 6000 from NVIDIA. If you pack up four of these GPUs into a workstation, it will fine tune and inference large language models for generative AI incredibly fast and produces answers in seconds, not minutes. You can fine tune GPT-3 model with 40 billion parameters and about 1 billion tokens in 15 hours. It is five times faster than RTX 4090 PC. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to help me reach border audience. And see you in the next one.